Hey guys, what is up? This is Swift here for Chinese Tech and today we're going to do a review and unboxing of the Star N9599. That's N9599. Now this is one of your medium to low end tiers uh, budget uh, Chinese phone. So uh, don't expect too many features that are unique. Uh, it's going to work out of the box as an Android phone and, and having that itself is going to be good enough. So this is the phone you can see right here. I have already unboxed it actually and took out some of the content Contents, but I'm just going to briefly talk to you about the packaging and uh, some of the accessories they provide in the pack uh, phone itself when you buy it. So this is the phone box. Now uh, that's just one thing I need to mention. Apparently there are different ways to uh, package the device according to the retailer. Now I got this off a local retailer here in Singapore. They export and export and import stuff like that. Uh, Chinese phones, some uh, models here and there. And uh, this is the packaging it comes in. Now uh, if you search online and look at other people's pictures and unboxing, uh, you will realize that uh, they have a different outlook. Now with that said, the phone you receive will probably be the same thing uh, as the model number and the device number is pretty much the same. So the specs etc are verified and are probably going to be identical. So it's just going to be a packaging so do not uh, be overly um, scared or anything like that should you receive something that looks differently. Now. So uh, the first thing first I would like to say and give a lot of props to is that the box, as generic as it is, is much, uh, it feels premium, really. It has some weight to it, it feels heavy and the box looks like it's made of quite sturdy material. Um, it's cardboard, I believe, and um, you see, you can see there's nothing, practically nothing on the box. So I'm not going to show you around, I practically showed you everything already. and. Um, it just feels is made of very thick material. So uh, that's one plus point. The minus point, of course, is the generic look to it. It's like just some random Android phone that you can get anywhere, I guess. But uh, yeah, premium quality box, uh, not premium aesthetic and looks there. So once you open this up, you will see the phone inside with your usual, your usual um, screen tap thing. Um, so uh, this will be where your phone will be and if you lift it up, you're gonna have all the accessories inside which I'm gonna show you. Now we have a back case. Now this is your standard. Most Chinese phones nowadays come with this case. Uh, it isn't, uh, uh, the phone don't support smart cover features. So uh, this will not wake your phone up um, once you flip it open or anything like that. Now inside you also will find an instruction manual. Yep, a uh, very generic one teaching you about Android. So um, not too much to say there. We have, I just took this out, uh, a back plastic case, it's like a silicone rubber kind of thingy that you will find anywhere. But uh, this is the back plastic case that they will provide as well. A additional spare battery. All right, uh, your standard charger. Uh, now this one, the rating is slightly higher. It's at, uh, if you can see, it's at uh, 800 milliampere, the output. Uh, now standard USB ports are at 0 0.5 amp. Uh, that's 500 milliampere. This is slightly higher. And uh, does it charge fa faster? Uh, I've tried it and it's not significant. So it's either the battery being very efficient or uh, the charger being, uh, there's not too much difference. Now uh, we have a pair of earphones that I did not open up, uh, mainly because as you can see inside the wire is extremely thin and um, it looks is like one of those Chinese earphones that you wouldn't want to try out. Um, so that's just something that's a downside. The earphones that they provide aren't of the highest quality compared to other people's earphones. So. Um, yeah, that's just one thing, but it's nice if you just want to have the mic and use the earphone to hear people talk. Now, uh, other than that, there isn't anything else. Oh, there is a USB cable. Um, I'm pretty sure you know what it looks like. It's the generic micro USB to USB cable. So yeah, that's about it. So we just jump straight into the phone itself. Now, let's just see if it's focused. 
yeah, I believe it is. So uh, this is the Star N9599 uh, from first look. Um, you can tell immediately that it is like a Note 2 clone. Yes, it's almost like a Note 2 clone. You can see they even have a uh, pen at the bottom. Which uh, I'm going to tell you straight off does nothing at all. It's just a normal um, mobile phone, smartphone, this kind of stylus that you use 10 over years ago on the precious sensitive uh, touch screens where you will need a pen to make sure that it's a pinpoint accuracy but nowadays we're using capacitive touch screens and that's not needed so that's just a a stylus there for no reason really so uh, this is a 5.7 inch screen phone 720p not full HD now this ha comes with its own uh, advantages and disadvantages um, of course the clear advantage is that uh, it is less taxing on the CPU, the battery, and uh, um, the disadvantage is, of course, you're using a lower technology screen, and uh, the quality uh, isn't as good compared to uh, the 1080p screens that you have nowadays. Now, in terms of dimensions, this is a, uh, in terms of the height, is 157 millimeters by 83 millimeters, and then the thickness is a 10.7 millimeters tick now this is not the thinnest phone it's also not the lightest definitely um it has some heft to it and in a way it's a good thing because uh, you want to have the premium feel a heavy phone like your htc one etc but uh if you hold this phone the weight is uh, slightly compensated with the poor choice of material now mostly is made of plastic similar to your samsung galaxy but it doesn't have this quality feel uh, to it uh, not quality it is of decent quality but it doesn't have the premium feel that you have on your other devices so uh, that is your star n9599 now this has a quad core mtk6589 the generic quad core cpu uh they do have a new variant that is the turbo edition uh, mtk 6589t uh, that the main difference is basically the cpu clock is slightly higher and that's about it now you have a front facing let's just talk about the physical uh, looks of the um of the phone at the front you have a 5.0 megapixel camera at the right side you have your vo um, power on and off switch at the left you have your volume rocker at the top you have your uh, audio jack and at the bottom you have your micro usb port now very standard affair now don't bother about this 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 is nonsense don't bother about it um pretty standard affair uh, you have one home button as well as two capacity now uh next up we have at the back a eight megapixel camera together with a led flashlight uh, i'm going to talk a little bit more about the uh, camera on this phone later on and you're going to be very surprised with what i'm going to say but yes i'm surprised as well now and there's a generic android logo here nothing about the brand uh, apparently this is quite common for uh, star phones here uh, um, they don't have their own logos and stuff like that and it's very generic android kind of phone but uh, it works well so why not and we have at the bottom one tiny little uh, speaker grill for the speaker output now i hate this i've been complaining a lot uh basically because having the speakers at the back is going to get blocked if let's say you hold it like that you're not going to hear the sound's going to be uh, hindered a lot because it's blocked uh if it's placed down like that even worse so what you have to do you have to hold it like this something like that and you have to cup it so that you can amplify the sound otherwise the uh sound volume out output of these speakers are extremely terrible so uh if you're going to use this for media i suggest you have it um plugged in your earphones plugged in otherwise you're not going to hear anything at all now uh moving on but let's talk about the phone itself in terms of quality now we'll move on to the display first now uh, this display as I mentioned earlier is a 720p display not full HD and uh, it isn't the best quality out there that you can buy with money uh, obviously we are very used to all the 1080p displays and so on and so forth now this one um, isn't exactly the the best contrast the colors are isn't 
aren't that vibrant as compared to other displays but it does the job seriously unless you have a movie that you're gonna put in like a blu-ray quality movie or pictures or something like that uh, you're not going to tell the difference the main thing here however if you put it side by side with another phone uh of of course higher quality say your htc1 or even like your galaxy s4 what you're gonna notice straight away is that at full brightness or any brightness really the phone colors are rather washed out it has this white color feeling to it and uh the color contrast is definitely not as good as compared to its competitors um that said 720p doesn't come that easily nowadays everyone's pushing for higher and higher uh, display resolutions and 720p is an advantage because it is not so taxing on the phone uh, cpu and processors and therefore what i can say straight off is that it runs very smoothly uh, all kinds of games latest on games maybe the most graphical intensive ones graphically intensive one do have a slight drop in frame rate but other than that it does run rather smoothly so that's the benefit of 720p that said uh everything here works as a phone should do uh signal reception is good um wireless signal is good as well and one thing here uh those people worrying about gps on their phone uh this uh, has the same of course, it has the same GPS uh, chip as per your other uh, device, MTK devices. But um, the GPS fix that I propose, you can see in another video and the written post as well, uh, it does work on this phone. Now, uh, obviously, this isn't the best GPS uh, chip that you can buy with money. But it's decent enough to tell where you are and give simple directions. But but that said, I don't recommend you using this if you are in a situation when you're going to be driving really fast or you have time um, constraint uh, and really trusting on a GPS device. This is not something I would uh, want you to trust. Now my cat just climbed on top, but we'll just continue. Um, moving on, uh, the camera of the phone. Now, this camera, 8 megapixel, is amazing for what it is. Um, there are going to be some sample photos that you can download and uh, view. This is a sample video. I'll link it, uh, the, the link to it in the description. And it's amazing. Uh, compared to my previous phone that I reviewed, the THL W8S, uh, this is comparable. 8 megapixel camera, but it's comparable to your 13 megapixel camera. Trust me on that. You can see the pictures don't lie. And the weird thing is, uh, is that the images that are saved are of higher resolution than 8 megapixel cameras the default 8 megapixel camera would take. For example, the resolution that the uh, image saved is similar to that of a 13 megapixel camera. So, um, in terms of quality, the camera, I'm very surprised that it's so amazing. Uh, you got to try it out um, to see it, to believe it. So, moving on from the camera, great camera, by the way, uh, if you didn't catch the, <laughs> the drift already. Um, in terms of gaming performance, now you're going to see it right here. This is Real Racing 3 by EA. Uh, this is one of the most graphically intensive and beautiful games that you can have for free. And uh, you're gonna see that it's gonna run. There's some drops in frames, a little bit laggy, but it is definitely very playable. And considering this device, its price you're gonna pay for roughly around 170 US dollars delivered to your house. Uh, it's extremely, extremely uh, cheap. Now I haven't really played this game, so I did r run the tutorial thing. So let's see if we can get things running to show you how everything is working. Uh, where we're doing that now how do I all right no nope. all right uh, where we're doing that let's talk about battery life now this phone lasts very long it has a 84 sorry 3 3800 milliampere hour battery so it's like a similar to your note devices battery uh it's extremely extremely lasting it definitely can last you for a whole day uh, of uh, medium to heavy activities like playing games etc it should work well now so battery life is pretty good now we're gonna see the gameplay 
Now it's extremely difficult for me to show you like that, mainly because uh, I'm the camera is right in front of me and as you can see it's pretty smooth and it's definitely playable. Let's just hit the curb and okay. Oh oh okay. No fear. So this is just some gaming performance. Uh, if you're interested in the synthetic benchmark like N22 and Velamo, etc., uh, you can view the um, you can view the numbers uh, on the written article. I will have the pictures there. Uh, link to the written article will be in the description as well. So do read it for a more detailed uh, review. And if you have not caught. Uh, some of the things I said, you can obviously refer to that as well. So yeah, this is real racing. You can see that, of course, the um, the what you call that, the frames do look like it's dropping a little bit, but it's definitely playable. You can see that I'm really second place, even though I'm recording with a camera and talking to the microphone. I'm still second. Uh, definitely, the later drop in frame rates is not hindering me at all in terms of my driving performance. So yeah, that is all I have to say about the phone. This is um, Star N9599. It's a very decent phone. Camera is excellent and um, it has all your standard uh, Android features uh, as well. So um, if you want full specifications of the phone, do um, read the written review. Uh, it has all the specifications. I do think that I forgot to mention that uh, it has one gig of RAM. 4 gig of ROM. Let's just go through quickly the specs. Uh, it comes with stock Android 4.2.1 rooted. I'm not sure this is the same for all retailers, but mine came rooted. It has GPS, it has uh, WLAN, battery, etc. FM radio, and uh, it supports Bluetooth as well. So yeah, this is the review of the Star N9599. I definitely recommend recommend it uh, to for you to get it. It's one of the better 720p phones that you can buy with money. Um, Otherwise, uh, that's, that is it. If you have any questions or comments, do leave it in the comment section. Otherwise, I will see you guys again soon. Do subscribe, of course, if you want more of such content.